Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session on Access Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the piston assembly for transient thermal analysis. We will start by double checking on transient thermal. Next, we will go to engineering data. Engineering data sources, general materials. I'll choose aluminium alloy as the material. Next, I'll go to project and update project. I'll now go to geometry and right click. I'll import the geometry of piston assembly. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry and suppress the wrist pin, the snap ring 1 and 2. Next, I'll go to the connecting rod and I'll allocate the material as aluminium alloy and also to the piston. Next, I'll go to mesh and I'll change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I'll go to transient thermal analysis settings. I'll change number of steps to 10. Auto time stepping, I'll change it to on. Initial time step, I'll change it to 0.1. Minimum time step, I'll change it to 0.1. And maximum time step, I'll leave it to 0.1. So, these are certain time settings that I have done. Next, I will insert temperature on the top surface of piston. Apply. Now, here if you see the temperature is constant, which is not the case. The temperature should be varying with respect to time. So, the last temperature is what I am going to change. And I'll make it to 300 degrees Celsius. You can see automatically all the other values have changed except for this one. So the first one I'll make it to 22 and the second one I'll change it to say 45. So all the values have changed. You can just make a note of this value. Next I will insert convection on the rest of the bodies. Now, if you want, you can give the convection separately to all of them. I am giving a cumulative convection to all the surfaces. So now I'll click on apply. The film coefficient is what I need to change. I will give import temperature dependent and I'll choose stagnant air vertical plane 1. Okay. The ambient temperature I'll set it to 40 degree. 
so these are the boundary conditions that i have applied if you want you can separately give boundary conditions over here of convection over the body at different temperatures now i will go to solution and insert temperature also i'll insert thermal total heat flux i'll go to solution and solve To the left you can see the maximum elapsed time is 4 minutes 23 seconds that is the time required to obtain the solution. By now you must be aware the transient thermal analysis takes a bit more time as compared to steady state thermal analysis which can be obtained very very soon. We will now go to temperature. I will first remove the meshing that is the wireframe so that I can see the body and the colors very clearly. So here you can see the variation of temperature with respect to time. On the y axis the unit is degree Celsius and on the x axis the unit is seconds for time. You can see the maximum temperature is 300.21 degrees Celsius. We have given 300 degrees Celsius as the maximum temperature and throughout you can see a variation of temperature now there is maximum variation in the piston itself because that is what is subjected to maximum heat. We have not given any temperature values here and so we have not got any temperature difference in the zone as such. But if you give different values of temperature you will find different temperature variations over the connecting rod as well. So these are the various temperatures the minimum value is 22.07. And this is the variation of maximum temperature with respect to time. When you go to a total heat flux, you can see that the heat flux over the body is 2.7673 watt per mm square. This is the highest value and this is of importance to us. Throughout the body, you can see various values of heat flux. You can associate the color and the value or you can use the pro option to just figure out what is the heat flux in which zone. Now suppose if you want to add just one temperature over here that is at the connecting rod you can just go to transient thermal and insert temperature at this zone which is your smaller i of the connecting rod you can apply a temperature of say 250 degrees celsius at this area and then just run the solution once again and check what do you obtain. You can see it has taken again 4 minutes 29 seconds to obtain the solution. Now you can click on temperature and again you will see another variation of temperature over the connecting rod as well. Because this time I have given temperature on the piston and the small eye of the connecting rod. Now you can see the variation of temperature over the connecting rod. Here you can see variation of temperature with respect to time has changed. We will go to the total heat flux. The maximum value is 2.8607 watt per mm square. Again, the heat flux value has changed over the entire piston. You can see that the color variation has changed. If you want to know what is the value, just click on probe, go to the point, you will get the value. Here you can see a graph of heat flux with respect to time. So you can see that the heat flux is reducing as your time increases. And the time is from 0 0.1 up to 10 seconds that we had given. You can change this number of steps to 20, 30, 40. What will happen is the time required to obtain the solution is going to increase. So with this, I end the session on transient thermal analysis of piston assembly. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.